What's up everybody? Welcome to day two of the hunt. The hunt for that 20 incher. We are going to be fishing the little Juniata today. I'm here in Spruce Creek and uh, just getting down to the creek here. Wow. It looks really good. Oh yeah. Look at this. This looks like it's gonna be a good day, boys. I'm feeling it today. Oh, wow, it's beautiful here. So I'm fishing a spot I actually found on Facebook. Uh, I guess this land that I'm on right now used to, was like week, two weeks ago private. And a club got the landowner to unpost it for fishermen with the only exception that no one's allowed to guide on it, which is phenomenal. We're not using the fly rod this morning. We're gonna be rocking the uh, the maps and the spinners and plugs and who knows what else. I think around lunchtime I'm gonna to try to go to a fly shop and try to get that loop fixed. And I kinda of wanna pick up some dry flies and maybe look at not leaky waders because that's what I'm dealing with today still. I tried to fix them last night before I went to bed and my foot's wet already so. Thankfully though, I did pack an extra pair of socks. So this looks good along this side. I think it's gonna be a deep channel over here. So I'm gonna get on the, to this island, put the big camera down safely and uh, we'll get the fish and hopefully uh, try to catch that 20 incher today. Whew. I have been fishing for, it has to be close to an hour now. At least an hour. I mean, I've been contemplating about leaving just because it's been so bad. Um, I think we still might make a run to Spring Creek uh, up in State College because State College is like 34 minutes away. And uh, just, I'm not feeling it here. I had like two bites and one of them produced a fish. Um, it's not very good numbers in my opinion. So I fished Spring Creek before and it was phenomenal. And I'd really like to fish down through the town of Bellefont if that's possible today. So I think that might be the plan now. So just pulled up to a pretty good spot in my opinion on Spring Creek. And uh, we're gonna forego socks with the waiter today because I cannot, for the life of me, stop this leak. I've essentially given up at this point. Maybe with a, with a bare foot, I might be able to figure out just where exactly it's leaking. So I think for the time being, at least here, <clears throat> I'm just gonna bring the spinning rod. It's pretty tight up in here in this woods. And uh, I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to cast. I need pretty much open area. I'm not the greatest caster. So that's the game plan. Hopefully, I've fished this spot before. I thought for sure coming here, someone would be here. Ugh. I don't know if this is like a more overlooked spot. I know right down the road is Benner Spring parking. I'm excited for tomorrow going back up to Penn's. Supposed to be overcast, a little rainy. So I'm gonna anticipate not a lot of people being there. Which is awesome. So last time I was here, the water was much higher. And uh, I didn't have to worry about these weeds. So it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of a role these weeds play a part in. That's for sure. Oh, got one. Little guy. Little, little, little. Well, he sure wanted it. Oh, okay, buddy. Get you unhooked real quick. Back and swimming with the fishies. Whew. You know, <clears throat> I know the trip's essentially dedicated to trying to find a 20 incher but 
Still going to have a blast catching all the fish I can. I think it would be more crazy to do it out of a place like this. Pretty small creek. Even though, I mean, this is extremely popular as far as trout fishing goes. Kind of odd though, I never see anybody fishing here. There we go. That's a good fish. Whew. Come on. Over here. Come on. Whoa. Whew. Wow. Look at that, boys. I don't think it's our our 20. There's only one way to find out. And he got wrapped up quick in this. All right, I want to get this guy back as nicely as I can. Beautiful. Let him go. See you, buddy. I'll be honest, I don't know what the hell a 20 inch is going to feel like. I would have thought he was like 16, 17 inches, but I think he was more like 12. So, at least, I mean, that was a hell of a fish. We're having a hell of a day on Spring Creek now compared to uh, oh, Little Jay. Just, I don't know, maybe I was just in a bad spot or something. But, hell of a day on Spring Creek. I love this creek. And it's just, just listen. Birds chirping, a couple cars driving by. It's very, very quiet back here. Fish on. It's stacked with them up there. Really nice brownie. All right, buddy, come here. So hopefully that didn't just ruin all the audio. Oh, got another one. These little guys are fun. And another one. <laughs> These guys are so tiny. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. Here, buddy. Well, I fished up as far as I think I want to. Um, I fished up through here before and I didn't really have any luck. But I, I really want to go fish down in Bellafon. So, I think we're gonna go back to the truck, kind of fish our way towards Bellafont. It's like one o'clock right now, so we kind of have a lot of time on our hands. Um, I, mean, I can fish till dark, essentially. As long as you guys can see what the camera sees, we can keep fishing, so. I think that's what I'd like to go try. 
I see pictures of a lot of big fish getting caught down there. Big rainbows, but I couldn't find anywhere that, that says that this is stocked. So, I don't know what that's about, but I'll see you guys back in the truck.